salah is actually an act of worship that will reduce our stress levels the quran speaks about it and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this in surah al-hijr regarding the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know that whatever they are saying, they are spreading rumors about you, that you are a womanizer, you are behind money, you are after uh, control, you are after power and so on. All those rumors that they are spreading about you, we know that they are causing your chest to be narrowed, which means, you know, you are concerned about them. It's stressing you up. So what you do, praise Allah and find yourself in, this, in the condition of prostration a lot. Be from those who prostrate. Now, prostration, if you are in that position, it is the only position where the brain is lower than the heart. Subhanallah. So the blood that is pumping to the brain is effortless. It will help a person whose cholesterol is high when you are in the condition of sujood because naturally there is no effort when the oxygenated blood is being pumped into the brain amazing and this is why it is said that sujood will help relieve your stress just sujood itself even just the position of sujood subhanallah and we find it a burden to go and make sujood allahu akbar that position of prostration is a sacred position it is only to be rendered for the one who created me and you. It is haram and prohibited to render that position for anyone else, any creature that Allah has created, no matter who it is. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all understanding and protection. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning how it is actually a point of release of stress. Salah is also a point of mercy. Allah says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ After speaking about salah, he says, fulfill your salah so that you can be from amongst those who is, who, whom Allah has mercy on. So that you can have mercy on yourself. So if you want mercy, you need to fulfill your salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us fulfillment of the salah. You want success? Didn't we say moments ago, hayya ala al-falah means come to success. Allah says in the opening verses of Surah Al-Mu'minun, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Successful are the believers who concentrate in their salah. So they read their salah, but now what is discussed is not the quantity, but the quality. So you want success? Improve the quality of your salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the best, inshallah, of this dunya as well as the akhirah.